name is Maurice Kanjejo. I work for Total Kenya Limited. I think the state of uh, the boy child in Kenya is not unique for boys. I think it is really the state of our youth generally. Over the years, uh, it has been assumed that they will just develop into adults on their own. Previously, I think when I grew up, there was a lot of social support because every, everybody was concerned about the development of the young people. So it was everybody's responsibility, an adult of any nature, finding a young person had the responsibility of disciplining them or showing them the way of how to behave. But this has evolved and you can understand the evolution. It's not really that people wanted it to evolve that way. Uh, the social structures have come down. People are no longer necessarily staying uh, as groups. People have become individuals. All of us, I mean a majority of us understand that there's a problem. But uh, only a few of us in this society are trying to do something about it. So for me, I have been uh, having a, a few young people who, for whom I pay school fees to begin with. And when I do that, I also want to understand that they, they are de developing. For me, it's also as a way of giving back, because even me, there were some sacrifices that were, that were made to see me where I am. But it was KCDF who matched us, I think, because the responsibility lies with you trying to match uh, the kind of person I am with another person. So when it was suggested through email contact first, I got to know who Jeremiah was first through the email. We exchange a lot of emails and we exchange a lot of texts. But eventually I asked him to come and we have met both in this office many times. I have taken him to my house. He has visited me more than once. Jeremiah is unique in many ways. I mean, he has told me a lot about his background and uh, the fact that uh, he is unique because he's be living this condition, living with this condition. I think he has weathered most of the storm, particularly when help came through people like KCDF, uh, he has already seen that there's a future. And what I'm trying to do is just to reinforce the element that the future is there. What remains is for him, really. What he puts into it is what he gets out. And that, that, that applies to all of us. I've also told him that my, what I just explained, that my background was similarly not very privileged. But here I am. Through, through the mentorship, you really, what I feel myself is that you feel complete. I mean, most of the time we live selfish lives. It is for me, it, I want this, I want that, I want to be successful. But through mentorship, you are able to see the fears that other, the young people have. And if you are able to address them and they, be, they overcome such kind of fears, will I get a job? Is the society accepting me? They tend to see more successful people and never believe that they can be them. And through mentorship, when I see them evolve into people who are responsible and picking up and saying, yes, I am able to, I can do it. That really is a very satisfying feeling. Society, particularly the boy child, is facing uh, a lot of difficulties and it is only through actions by the people who have gone through those experiences and overcome them that they are able to be turned into good citizens of the future being pointed in the right direction so it is an individual choice but at the same time the results of not taking action is not only going to affect those who try to take action it is going to affect all of us so we are all better off if we are trying to do in our little ways something that in the end can uh, help in turning society back into its normal course. So that really should be the, the idea of picking this mentorship program 
wherever we can, because we, we can. I mean, I've been able to do it. It doesn't take a lot of my time. So I know anybody else in my position can more or less do the same.